Hi there, it's lovely to see you again today. I've got a story here, another one. This one's called A Squash and a Squeeze. And the author of this story is Julia Donaldson and the illustrator is oops, Axel Scheffler. So there's the front cover of our story. I wonder what it's going to be about. Mm, let's find out. A little old lady lived all by herself with a table and chairs and a jug on the shelf. A wise old man heard her grumble and grouse. There's not enough room in my house. Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Oh, I wonder how the man might be able to help her. Let's find out. Taking your hen, said the wise old man. Taking my hen? What a curious plan. When the hen laid an egg on the fireside rug and flapped round the room, knocking over the jug. Uh-oh. The little old lady cried, what shall I do? It was pokey for one and it's tiny for two. My nose has a tickle and there's no room to sneeze. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Taking your goat, said the wise old man. Taking my goat? Ooh, what a curious plan. Well, the goat chewed the curtains and trod on the egg, then sat down to nibble the table leg. The little old lady cried, glory be, it was tiny for two and it's titchy for three. The hen pecks the goat and the goat's got fleas. My house is a squash and a squeeze. Then she said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. I wonder what he might suggest next. Mm. Taking your pig, said the wise old man. Taking my pig? Mm, what a curious plan. So she took in her pig, who kept chasing the hen and raiding the larder again and again. Can you see? I think he's a bit of a greedy pig. The little old lady cried, Stop! I implore! It was titchy for three and it's tiny for four. Even the pig in the larder agrees. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Oh, can you see the animals there? They're looking rather full. I think they've been busy eating. Taking your cow, said the wise old man. Taking my cow? What a curious plan. Well, the cow took one look and charged straight at the pig, then jumped on the table and tapped out a jig. Can you see? Doing a bit of a dance. The little old lady cried, heaven's alive. It was teeny for four and it's weeny for five. I'm tearing my hair out, I'm down on my knees. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take them all out, said the wise old man. But then I'll be back where I first began. So she opened the window and out flew the hen. That's better. At, li at last I can sneeze again. She shooed out the goat and she shoved out the pig. My house is beginning to feel pretty big. 
she huffed and she puffed and she pushed out the cow. Just look at my house. It's enormous now. Oh, thank you, old man, for the work you have done. It was weenie for five. It's gigantic for one. There's no need to grumble and there's no need to grouse. There's plenty of room in my house. And now she's full of frolics and fiddle de dees. It isn't a squash and it isn't a squeeze. Yes, she's full of frolics and fiddle de dees. It isn't a squash or a squeeze. Can you see the old lady there? She's dancing around. She's got lots of space now. It's just her in her house. And there we go. Well, thank you for listening to my story today. I hope to see you again soon.